Following the devastating Christchurch earthquakes, some people have reported that their houses have become noisy. They creak, rattle and shake when doors are slammed, when people climb up and down stairs, when heavy vehicles drive by, and also in strong winds and aftershocks. So we built this small test house and exposed it to various levels of earthquake movement. And we recorded the damage that occurred in the house at every stage of testing. This is the actuator that we used to displace the test house. The amount of movement that we imposed on our test house was selected so that the damage that occurred in the plasterboard in our test house matched what we observed when we did our house inspections in Christchurch. So that the size and length of the cracks in our test house was quite similar to what occurred in Christchurch. We started off so that the cracks were very small and later on we imposed very large deflections so that the cracks were rather extreme and very, very rarely did we observe these in Christchurch. We have also looked at the effect on house stiffness if the glued plasterboard cracks have failed, as they have here in this particular example. We believe this has happened in Christchurch, because when the plasterboard is pushed in towards the framing, it feels loose and drummy, showing that the plasterboard is no longer glued to the stud behind. Based on the test results, we have recommended four different repair strategies. The best to use in a particular house depends upon the severity of earthquake damage to that house. For instance, we have found that simply adding extra screws on the plasterboard actually significantly increased the strength and stiffness of the house and also overlaying new sheets over the cracked plasterboard was a very effective method of strengthening and repairing a house.